Matt Shane Sorens with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you the legitimate one-click root method for the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. This is also going to unlock your bootloader and install custom recovery. This is all thanks to Adam Outler. He's been hard at work on his latest version of Casual Root. Previous versions required you to run Casual Root and then install two Odin files. Uh, for some reason, people were having issues. When it came time to install those Odin files, they were having issues with their PC. Uh, so this attempts to alleviate those issues and makes it all a very seamless process. It should be just a one click and done process. So that's what we're going to do today on the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are on the stock ROM. Now obviously if you've never unlocked your bootloader or rooted your device you'll be stock. Uh, but this is going to work on either the latest over the air update or if you've just pulled your device out of the box and you're on the older version of Android it's going to work there too. Um, but what I would suggest is go ahead and, and install that over-the-air update and then use this casual route. That way you have the latest and the greatest software. We'll go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is jump into settings. And I'll just show you what version we're on here. Uh, we're on Android 4.1.1, VR ALL4. That's the latest over-the-air update. And we'll go into developer options and turn on developer options and then make sure that you check USB debugging and then other than that I just want to show you guys that I'm not rooted or anything so you guys see I don't have super user installed I don't have a recovery and I have my bootloader uh, is still locked down so we'll go ahead and move on to the process itself okay so you want to head to the link in the description it's going to bring you to this page this is the jailbreak thread by Adam Outler now the previous version is this R 218B back at your Verizon that required you to flash a couple of Odin files. The new version is this Casual R311B. Now he's still updating this to make it perfect so it may not be this version when it is finally released. Right now he's still in the testing phase. Uh, it's worked for him but he still needs more testing done so uh, we can count this as a test. But anyhow this is where you're going to find the file so you go ahead and select that, download that. It's only about 28 megabytes and it won't take you very long. Once you do that just put that on your desktop and you'll right click it and open with Java. So if you don't have Java installed in that thread there's also a link to download Java. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug in your device. Making sure that you have USB debugging enabled. Once it's plugged in it'll say device connected. Uh, from there all you have to do is click do it and follow the prompts. It says, are you sure? This is your only warning. You will be unlocked and rooted. Your device will reboot once and then again into Odin mode. You will then flash the Suck It Verizon Odin bootloader package. So we'll go ahead and continue. So it also installs all of the software as you go. You see it's currently downloading the correct software here so it does everything automatically. That's why it's considered a one click and done software. Okay so we'll go ahead and agree and install. So once this finishes and this is set up successful, we'll just go ahead and close that out and it will continue. Okay, so it's going to give you the screen, hey, you need drivers. Uh, so it tells you exactly what to do. You're going to click this drop down menu here. You're going to select the Samsung USB composite device, which we have here, Samsung Mobile USB composite device. Once that's selected, you'll hit reinstall driver. That's going to take, you know, two or three minutes. When it's finished, it's going to say the driver was installed successfully. Then just click the close. And we'll go ahead and exit out of both of these. And that continues the process. Okay, so now it says that our device should be booting into Android, which it is. Okay, and then it's going to continue the process. Right now it's just rooting the device. You can see it's pushing the exploit through. 
So now it's uh, booting our phone into Odin. And so there it flashed the recovery, the unlocked bootloader, and uh, we should be rebooting into Android once again. And finally, it'll go ahead and reboot the device into TeamWin Recovery Project. So guys, it was as simple and easy as that, thanks to Adam Outler and all who have worked on this casual root process. Uh, if this has been easy for you, be sure to click on this donate button. Uh, it takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to put together this awesome one-click stuff so that we can unlock our bootloaders, install TeamWin Recovery Project, root our device, and ROM it, or whatever we want to do with it. Uh, we can do that thanks to developers like Adam Outler and his team. Be sure that you do donate for the cause so they can continue to bring us easy processes like casual root on devices, even upcoming devices like Galaxy S4 and the Note 3. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device and other devices that I cover. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.